Hello everybody, my name is Rijk McCure and I work for LonelyScholar.com. This is the second movie in the series and today I want to tell you all about this symbol, the double turnstile. This is often called a logical implication, which is different from our old friend, the material implication, which I talked about in the previous movie. The double turnstile is seen mostly in expressions like this, but it's used as the main ingredient for many logical statements. These logical statements can be expressed as V and tils A, or V models A, A is a semantic consequence of V, or V makes true A. V represents a world, or valuation, in which certain propositions are true and others are false. For example, imagine our Earth, where polar bears live on the North Pole and penguins on the South Pole. A is a formula expressing a proposition. For example, penguins live on the South Pole. Or maybe a more complex formula like penguins live on the South Pole and polar bears live on the North Pole. We can now rightfully claim that our world V, the world that we've drawn, models or makes true A, the complex formula expressing that penguins live on the South Pole and polar bears live on the North Pole. But we could imagine a different world called V prime. In this world, polar bears live on the South Pole and penguins on the North Pole. In this reverse earth, it is not true that penguins live on the South Pole and polar bears on the North Pole. We represent this by drawing a line through our turn cell and say our new world, V prime, does not model or makes true A. This is often called a sequent, or a schema. Our turnstile is separating our premise from our conclusion. There are many different forms of this statement, but they basically all mean the same. The formulas on the left make the formula on the right true. Or to state it negatively, it is not possible for all formulas on the left to be true, while the formula on the right is false. We cannot say A without saying B. Let's look at an example to make this more clear. These kind of sequence or schemas are found in our language when someone is making a deduction. For example, someone states, I either drink beer or study logic. I'm not drinking beers, so it must be the case that I study logic. In logic we represent this, it must be the case, with our double turnstile and say that our premises, I either drink beer or study logic and I'm not drinking beer until or make true our conclusion, I study logic. Let's look at another statement, a statement where P and P implies Q make true Q. Let's say P means that somehow your teacher turns out to be a penguin. P implies Q means penguins live on the South Pole. Or more precise, if your teacher is a penguin, your teacher lives on the South Pole. These two necessarily make true Q. Your teacher lives on the South Pole. We can interpret the statement as follows. If we try to draw a world where both our premises are true, then in this world it necessarily follows that a conclusion is true. In other words, we cannot draw a world where your teacher is a penguin, penguins live on the South Pole, but your teacher does not. Note that this does not mean that there could be a world where your teacher isn't a penguin and he does not live on the North Pole. That is, there are worlds where one of our premises is not true. But in these worlds, our conclusion doesn't have to be true either. The fact that these worlds exist doesn't contradict our statement. But more importantly, in contrast with the material implication, 
This sequent or schema does not just mean that there is this one world where it is the case that if the precedents are true, then the conclusion must also be true. But that this is the case in all worlds. Equivalent to this definition, we can state that in all worlds the following statement must hold. V, this world, makes true that P and P implies Q imply Q. So the logical implication, the double turnstile, states that the analog formula with a material implication is always true, in any possible world. So where the material implication has a truth value in each world, the logical implication, the double turnstile, abstracts over world and talks about formulas instead. The logical implication has no truth value itself, because it describes the relation between formula, or sets of formula, rather than any truth functional operation of them. So, if we want to know, for example, if P makes true Q, we have to check for every world if the statement P materially implies Q is true. Or, equivalently, we have to check for every world that makes our premise P true, that it also makes our conclusion Q true. Or, in terms of our example, if my teacher is a penguin, does he automatically live on the South Pole? In a top left world, our teacher isn't a penguin, so there's nothing more to check. The same holds for the top right world. In the bottom left corner, our teacher is a penguin and also lives on the South Pole. So far, so good. But in the bottom right corner, we have found a counterexample. Our teacher is a penguin, but seems to live on the North Pole instead on the South Pole. There seems to be a possibility, a world, where our premise P is true, without our conclusion being true. This world serves as a counterexample and makes it so that we can say that P does not entail Q, although in some worlds P material implies Q. Conclusively, to rightfully exclaim that A makes true P, it has to be the case that in all worlds A materially implies B. But for the statement V makes true A materially implies B to hold, it just has to be the case that in a single world, the one called V, that if A is true, then B is true. And that's all for today, so thanks for watching and see you next time.